What if I told you that the computers we use today, from laptops to the most powerful supercomputers, are just the beginning? That we are standing on the edge of a computing revolution, a revolution called quantum computing. It's not just faster, it's like comparing a bicycle to a rocket ship when it comes to solving certain types of problems. Let's dive into what makes quantum computers so incredible and why the world is so excited about their potential. Let's start with a quick comparison. Traditional computers versus quantum computers. Traditional computers, the ones we've been using for decades, are based on something called bits. Each bit represents a single piece of information. It's either a zero or a one. This binary logic is the foundation of all the amazing things computers can do. But there's a catch traditional computers solve problems by working through them step by step, one calculation at a time, no matter how fast they go. Even supercomputers, which are the giants of the computing world, are just really, really fast at doing this step-by-step -step process. Quantum computers, on the other hand, are based on the mind-blowing principles of quantum mechanics, which is the science of the very small, atoms and subatomic particles. Instead of bits, quantum computers use qubits. And here's where it gets exciting. Qubits can exist in a state of zero, one, or both at the same time. This is called superposition. Think of it like flipping a coin. A classical computer would say heads or tails, but a quantum computer can represent both heads and tails simultaneously. This allows quantum computers to perform many calculations at once instead of one step at a time. It's like solving a maze not by trying every path individually, but by exploring all paths at the same time. To put things into perspective, let's compare a quantum computer to a supercomputer. In 2019, Google made history with its quantum computer called Sycamore. They performed a calculation that would take the world's fastest supercomputer, IBM Summit, around 10,000 years to solve. And guess what? Sycamore did it in just 200 seconds. That's not just faster, it's a completely different level of computing power. And now, in 2023, there are whispers about another potential breakthrough, Google's Willow chip. While official details are scarce, it's rumored to push the boundaries of quantum computing even further, with increased stability, scalability, and computational power. Could this be the key to unlocking even more practical uses for quantum technology? The mystery of the Willow chip adds another layer of excitement to this rapidly evolving field. So why does this matter? What can quantum computers do that traditional computers can't? Here are just a few mind-blowing possibilities. Drug discovery and healthcare. Quantum computers can simulate molecules and proteins in ways that would take traditional computers millions of years. This could revolutionize medicine by speeding up drug development and finding cures for diseases. Cryptography. Quantum computers could crack current encryption methods, but they could also create unbreakable quantum encryption, making our digital world more secure. Artificial intelligence quantum computers can process massive data sets and optimize algorithms in ways that will supercharge AI development. Climate modeling. Predicting weather and understanding climate change are complex problems, but quantum computers can model these systems with unparalleled accuracy. Now, before we get too excited, let's talk about some of the challenges. Quantum computing isn't perfect, at least not yet. Here are some of the biggest hurdles. Fragility of qubits qubits are extremely sensitive. Even the slightest disturbance, like a tiny vibration or a change in temperature, can cause them to lose their quantum state. This is called quantum decoherence, and it's a major challenge. Scalability. Building and maintaining quantum computers is incredibly complex and expensive. To keep qubits stable, they often need to operate at temperatures close to absolute zero, which is colder than outer space. Limited applications. Right now, quantum computers are highly specialized. They're not going to replace your laptop or smartphone anytime soon. And finally, there's the concern about cybersecurity. While quantum computers could make encryption more secure, they could also render current encryption methods obsolete. Imagine if someone could break into all the world's encrypted data. That's why researchers are already working on quantum-resistant encryption methods. Quantum computing is like a double-edged sword. It holds the promise of solving humanity's biggest challenges but also comes with significant risks and hurdles. 
We're still in the early stages of this technology, but the progress we're seeing is nothing short of revolutionary. So what do you think? Will quantum computers change the world for the better, or do you think we're opening Pandora's box? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-blowing tech content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.